Welcome, legends, to this super short episode, which is International Beacon Part 2 of the saga. Um, sounds like something straight out of Captain Scarlet or Thunderbirds, but uh, I'm afraid it's not that interesting. It's the second beacon, and this time we're going to do it on the underside of the Bell 222. Now, if you have a look at lots of pictures on the internet, which is what I have done, you'll find that the International Beacon underneath varies from just behind the exhaust on a straight lateral line, longitudinal line straight down, all the way back to the actual tail fins. And it sort of dots around there, depending on um, the model from the 222A, 222B, 230 and so on. So look, here's my advice. Put it where you're happy. So I have drilled a 10 millimetre hole here. Top tip is go up in size, 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, 5 mil, 7 mil, 10 mil. Um, and clean it off on the inside by using a simple file. Remember those files? Um, make sure it's nice and clean and so forth. So if you've got rid of the dust. Super glue. Yes, super glue. Medium strength. The cap onto the actual beacon plate. And because we're going to be mounting this plate on the inside and it's not flush... We're going to use some hot glue. That's right, hot glue, that messy stuff. Um, we don't really want to super glue this on the inside. It's not a flat plate like we did with the um, International Beacon number one on top of the doghouse. That was a nice flat surface. Um, this is not going to be a flat surface at a slight angle. And of course, we've got the cables on the top there. So um, hot glue it is. And that's it. It's a simple case of that, of uh, super gluing it in. And uh, done, dusted. So that's it. Um, welcome to the end of the video. Um, next time you see it, this will be fitted. So there we go. Simple as that. In summary, drill a hole, 10 mil, go up in size, super glue the cap to the top so that this beacon is going to poke from the inside out and hot glue it in place, purely simply because the uppermost area where you're going to be putting that on the inside is not flush. And therefore, there's going to be some space and the hot glue will fill that space. Don't be concerned about hot glue melting because of the heat of the uh, International Beacon. As we know, it's not gonna be that hot. And even if it is, it's gonna have to reach over 160 degrees centigrade for the hot glue to be uh, degraded. So I won't worry about it at all. All right then, join me on the next video where we'll be doing something else to do with the lighting. Take care, bye-bye.